A great day to one and all. I am Kim J.C. Enso, and today I will be discussing with you this problem. If x equals 2 plus square root of 3, find the value of x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth. Please give this problem a try. You may pause the video, and if you are done answering, let's see if you have the same answer as I did. So there are many ways of solving this problem, and one of the usual ways of doing this is by direct substitution. However, I will not do direct substitution here because uh, raising this uh, number to the fourth is kind of challenging as well, and the same thing as one over its reciprocal. Instead, I will be showing to you a faster, shorter way of doing this. And let's see if you got the correct answer. So for the solution for this one, let us use the reciprocal property of equality that states, in an equality statement, the reciprocal of the left-hand side is equal to the reciprocal of the right-hand side, provided that no side is equal to zero or is undefined. So let's have a quick example. Let's solve for x in 1 over x equals 2 thirds. So to do such, if we are going to use the multiplication property of equality or MPE, from here, we will multiply both sides by 3x. And multiplying both sides by 3x, so others are using the term cross multiplications. It's like 3 times 1, we have 3, equals x times 2, which is 2x. And dividing both sides by 2, to solve for x, we have x equals 3 halves. Now, if we are going to use the reciprocal property of equality, and given this equation, we will take the reciprocal of both sides of the equation. The reciprocal of 1 over x is x. And the reciprocal of two-thirds could be achieved by interchanging, of course, your numerator and denominator. And its reciprocal is 3 halves. So x equals 3 halves. And you could notice that using either MPE or the reciprocal property of equality, you still achieve the same answer. And the thing is, how could this property be used to solve our problem? Let's see. So from here, applying the said property, if x is equal to 2 plus square root of 3, by the reciprocal property of equality, we have 1 over x equals 1 over 2 plus square root of 3. Note that the denominator of 2 plus square root of 3 is understood to be 1. That's why its reciprocal is 1 over 2 plus square root of 3. And we could see here that this given uh, denominator is 2 plus square root of 3. We may rationalize this by multiplying both numerator and denominator by 2 minus square root of 3. Note that this is equal to 1. And by multiplying 1 to the given, we did not actually change the value of the number. And multiplication by 2 minus square root of 3 in our numerator, it's 1 times the quantity 2 minus square root of 3. It's just 2 minus square root of 3 because any number multiplied by 1 is equal to itself. And for the denominator, you could see that it's of the form a plus b times the quantity a minus b. And we know from our algebra that a plus b times the quantity a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So we will just square the first term. So 2 squared, we have 4. Square root of 3 squared is 3. And it has to be a minus between them. From here, we could see that 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Thus, 1 over x is equal to 2 minus square root of 3. And so for this one now, we will be utilizing the two equations that I boxed here. And how do we utilize them? Let's see. 
if given these two equations now, remember, if we have A equals B and C equals D, then it follows that the sum of the elements or numbers at the left, that's A plus C, is equal to the sum of the expression at the right, which is B plus D. So here, what we are going to do is we will add the left-hand side and X plus 1 over X is, of course, X plus 1 over X equals. If you add this, 2 plus 2 is 4, but square root of 3 minus square root of 3 becomes 0. That's why we have the equation X plus 1 over X equals 4. All right? Now, To solve for this, we can actually square both sides of the equation. And this does not alter the equality since squaring both sides of the equation um, does not, in fact, alter the equality. So if we square this, if you squared uh, a binomial, we square first the first term. So x squared, we have x squared here. It's plus here, so it should be plus here as well twice the product of the first and the second term. That's why we have twice of x times one over x plus the square of the last term, which is one over x squared equals the square of four, which is 16. We could see here in the middle term that two times x times one over x is equal to two. Why two? Because a number multiplied by its reciprocal is equal to 1, provided that that number is not equal to 0. Hence, we have x squared plus 1 over x squared equals 14 because we subtracted both sides by 2. And from here, our goal is to reach x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth. Hence, we need to square again both sides of this equation. And squaring both sides, we have this statement. So squaring again, we have to square the first term. That's x to the fourth plus here. So it's plus here. Twice the product of the first and of the second term. So we have twice the product of x squared and 1 over x squared plus the square of the last term, which is 1 over x to the fourth equals 14 squared or 196. And just like the previous, uh, in the previous slide, twice of x squared times 1 over x squared becomes 2. Because x squared divided by x squared here will become 1. And 2 times 1 times 1 will just be 2. Hence, you will have x to the fourth plus 2 plus 1 over x to the fourth equals 196. And subtracting both sides by 2, we have x to the fourth plus 1 over x to the fourth equals 194. And that's the answer to our problem. If you wish, you could try this with your calculator, with your scientific calculator using direct substitution to the expression. And I'm sure you will also get 194. I hope that you learned something for today. And before I end this presentation, let us remember, let's have this quote of the day, make your mistakes work for you by learning from them. That's according to Donald Trump. With that, TYVM, thank you very much and a great day to one and all.